You and Michelle Williams, who I adore, I just think that she's, first of all, as a person, I like her, and as an actress, she's superb. And it's a very intense movie, and... Are you hydrating? I'm worried about you. I am. Because, <laughs> drank... you know, once you're thirsty, it's too late. You're already, you're already dehydrated. You're absolutely right, Ryan. Once you're thirsty, it's too late. We're going to give you tips along the way. <laughs> so, you and Michelle Williams lived together to prepare for this movie, right? Yeah. And how long did you live together? Well, you know, for a month. We lived in this house. I mean, we didn't, not night times, because Michelle is a mom, and uh -huh. she had to go home. Right. But uh, during the days, we would live in this house, and uh, we had, uh, you know, a budget that we had to live on, and we had Christmas and birthdays, and uh, we did the James Bond workout. Christmas and birthdays in a month? Well, you know, we just packed them all in. We uh -huh, would make a I birthday see. cake, have a birthday party in the morning, right. and then have Christmas at night. Uh-huh. And, and, well, tell people, I'm, I'm assuming people know the movie, but tell people what it's about. Um, well, it's just a, it's a love story. Kind of. You like love, don't you? <laughs> all right. It's a love story, but it's a little more complicated than that. Well, but they have to see it to find out. That's right. Them, okay, know. I don't want to give anything away. And you and Michelle are a very, very cute couple, and as I said, I like you, I like her, so I like you individually. I like you as a couple. I don't know if you're a couple, you're being cagey about it, I know that. If you're a couple, I, I, I'm all for it. <laughs> Wait, you're pedaling faster. What's happening? I'm trying to get away from this conversation. <laughs> And you brought me something, and I, uh, I want to know what it is. It's in a bag. They said you brought me something fun. Well, I bought, okay, so for Christmas, I, I got these for my family as a joke. And then we put them on, and they're so wildly comfortable that we never took them off. And I like them so much, I brought you one. I thought you might like it. Oh, this is what I've been talking about we need to start making for the show. It's a onesie. It's a onesie? And I, I, I like them so much uh, that I, I got all of you one, too. Everybody in love? Right here. <laughs> you won them over. What? They love you. <laughs> Here's what I'm going to say. I don't know if you agree with me, but I would say that Ryan Gosling's the best guest we've ever had on the show. Top that. I, That's mean, a... I, 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 know, I know there's like a novelty aspect to this. Yeah. But they're pretty comfortable, aren't they? They're. They're, yeah. Yeah. they're great. And to work out in, you'll, you, get a, you get your sweat on. Oh, yeah. I was already getting my sweat on. This is adding to the sweat a, a whole lot. This is. But uh, this right, really is something I want to do with the Ellen Shop. I want to do the. Uh, this is such a great idea. Thanks, Jumpin' Jammers. Uh huh. They gave them to you. And now, thanks, Jumpin' Jammers. And so, you wear these how often? I'm, I'm, I took them off to come here. Really? You're always yeah. in them. Yeah. I'm not. I'm, I don't, I don't want to. Hardly. I, part of this is to make this somehow popular, so I can wear them out and not feel. All you had to do like was put it in GQ. They'll follow you. That's it's, what I'm saying. We'll do whatever you say. You're, well, it you're, starts here. It's a movement. You're the style it's a jump master. And jammer movement. All right. Now, will you wear something like this if it catches on to the Golden Globes? I'd love to. All right. Well, that, I would like to see that. But like in a black, in a tux kind of a situation. Yeah, like a tux. Yeah, with a little like a flower. Yeah. And, dress yeah. it up. Right. Yeah, you know, a little little flower right there. You're kidding, but I'm not. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm totally serious. And last year you took your mom. Is that right? Yeah. Well, I'd like to take my mom, but it's you know it gets a little tricky with the swag room situation. Oh, she likes the swag room? Like, there's something, like, trance-inducing about them, you know? When we were in Sundance, I took my, my sweet look at her. That's her in the jumping jammers. It's Christmas. <laughs> I took her to the swag room, and I said, Ma, when we go in there, just know that they're not just trying to give us stuff. They want me to take my picture with it, right. you know? So unless you're really compelled by something, let's just move through. Right. She's like, of course, let's go. As Soon as we walk in, I lose her. I'm looking for my mother, and she's with this jewel lady selling jewelry. And she's like, Ryan, isn't this so nice? This lady wants to give me a necklace. It says truth. It's a truth necklace, you know? I'm yeah. Like, truth? A truth necklace? OK. Take a picture. She's like, don't you want to take your picture with the idea of truth, concept of that? That's a good thing to be 
identified with, right? Okay. Then I'm like, okay, can we go? She says, sure. We go, I think we're out. And suddenly, I love that we're talking in these. Uh -huh. I'm doing I do this, too. by the way. <laughs> and uh, she's like, I lost her again. And I find her and she's like, Ryan, this nice man wants to give us a jacket. It charges your cell phone. A jacket that charges your cell yeah. phone? Isn't that great? I'm like, yeah, I, I, I guess. Do we really need jackets that charge our cell phones? <laughs> Apparently we do. Uh -huh. She's like, you know, you never think of your uncles. They might love a jacket that charges your cell phone. <laughs> you never think of your uncles? So I got one from my uncle and I thought, you know, you're never gonna wear that truth necklace. Uh, you're never gonna wear it. Uh, okay. She never takes it off. And my uncle won't, you can't separate him from his jacket. From the that jacket charges that charges the cell phone. See? She, so, she knows. The, you know, she knows. He's the fool. Well, Ryan, I adore you, and you're so talented, and uh, good luck, <laughs> congratulations on this. What's wrong with this? Don't think that this is going to This is fulfilling some weird fantasy for me. I hope, yeah. that that's, <laughs> I hope that's okay. It's just getting a little intimate.